I'm from West Africa. The main difference here is that the parents are, I feel like parents are a bit lonely here in the way they raise their kids. I'm from a very big family and where I come from, every, everybody is involved in parenting kids. So it's not only your nuclear family, mom and dad, who will look after your kid or educate him. It's like auntie, uncle, grandparent, neighbors, friend, every, almost everybody has a say in the way you parent your child and will be involved in the child education. So being in Australia and having no close relative here with me, I felt that a bit I'm lonely in my parenting way because I have only one child and I don't know, sometimes the, the rule in parenting here is quite different because here you are not uh, the one who are driving the family and back home the parent drive the family and here there are some certain things you can't do with your kids and back home you can do. For example, when you ask your child to, to clean the table and my child will say, ah, oh, why are you bossing me around? I don't want to do it. I, I don't, next, maybe wait a minute, I will do it. This is not acceptable back home. If an adult give you some instruction, you have to follow it. And I remember I asked my daughter to, to clean up the table and she'll say, ah, oh, no. I can't if I say you are lucky to be here because back home you wouldn't be able to do that and she say oh, what will happen if I did that in, a, in, in Africa I think someone will just smack you and, and she say you have no right to smack me if you smack me I will po call the police and you will go to jail and I say I'd rather go to jail I smack you and then you do the great thing than me going I will go to I prefer to smack you and then go to jail knowing that I did the right thing for you in, in, in future, for, the, for your future than not doing anything now and you not going to jail and losing you in the long, longer run. And also I think parents here are like all over their kids, like helicopter parenting. They want to be involved in any, any, every aspect of how the child is doing, how oh, they are really protective. And the way I grew up is very different. It just, you are out there in the street, discovering the world from yourself. You are not in bound, like in a set, you're always in how in the house. And you go to the neighbor's house, when you are fed up of there, you come back home, you go to the next neighbor's house, and then you come back home, and you see your parent only doing dinner, lunch, or breakfast time, and you don't really spend time with your parent. There is no such direct interaction. And, but here it's like all evolving around the kids and sometimes I feel that I feel guilty because I don't I don't feel that I'm, I'm involved as much as the other parents at school because they're all there they're trying to control the school community uh, committee they want to do that they most of them are done working for full time so they have time to to spend on scrutinizing what the curriculum is like what the teacher should be doing, kind of controlling what is happening in the child life. For me, from my experience back home, teacher, had, even though parents will check on how you are doing at school, but they relate this to teacher, to they trust the teacher, the teacher to, to educate their child. So if something is wrong, the teacher will call them and say your child is not behaving. That's when they will, they, they will come and step in. But here, the child is, I think that teachers are just not left alone to do whatever they want to and not being able to be as much involved in my child's schooling. I feel like guilty, I feel like I'm not a good parent. And I feel like I'm letting, even though I know it's not true, but I feel like I should be doing more for my daughter. But I can't do it and sometimes I felt that I would, I'm judged by other parents because they are always there volunteering at school, keeping up with whatever has to be done and me I'm working full time, I can't be there so it's a bit, I feel a bit guilty about that I, and I feel that also because I feel sometimes you're isolated and because of the isolation I, I feel that I need to, I need to do the job of like 
five, ten people to just so for her to be have some balance in her life. Because if I had all these people back home, like friends, family, neighbors, grandparents, I'll just they will just step in and take over and just do whatever I needed to do and also to set me to set to make me see that I'm overdoing some stuff and I'm not doing enough some other stuff. But not having that is very, very difficult to to know what I'm going getting wrong or right. Uh, yeah.